All right, good morning or good afternoon or whatever, game design students. Whenever you're watching this video, hope you're doing well. Um, this is the first video of the turret behavior series that we're doing here. So you're just, uh, your assignment is to make a small game that utilizes the turret behavior. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to make that work. Um, as you can see here on the screen, I'm on the Construct 3 editor. You want to make sure you're signed in so that you get full access to uh, all the tools <coughs> and the layers and all that stuff so it doesn't limit you. Um, we got you that license, so you're good to go. I'm just going to click New Project. I'm going to call it Turret. You can call it whatever you want, but something that you'll identify, right? Um, we want to make sure we give everything a good name that's easy to identify. I'm going to go ahead and create that. And you can see here I have my layout, my viewport, all this stuff, properties bars, layer uh, bar, and the project bar as well. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just create a background. Um, and so in our layer zero here, I'm going to rename it and call it background. And then I'm going to double click over here and I'm going to create a tiled background. And for this tiled background, I'm going to make it look like grass, I guess. I'm going to go dark green with the, uh, with the paint bucket tool and then use the brush to do sort of a lighter green and make it look like grass. And I'm such a good artist, it looks exactly like grass. It's amazing. Can't even tell the difference. Anyways, there it is. Now I'm going to right click it. I want to make sure that I align it to cover the layout. So you can see there the whole layout's covered. And then I'm going to right click it again and I'm going to lock the selection. Right? So now I can't select it, I can't move it around. And just to double up on that, we're now going to lock the background layer as well. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as you start to make more and more advanced games, maybe you'll unlock this background layer and you'll put some sort of a tile map over the top to make some objectives or something for your game. But for right now we're just going to lock it up because we're done messing with the background pretty much for the rest of this game. <clears throat> Next thing we want to do is we want to add a new layer. So we're going to right click in the layers panel and click add layer at the top and we're going to name it the player layer. This is where our player and our enemies and all sorts of our, our turrets and those things are all going to go um, on this layer. And you can see here to the right background is layer zero, player layer is layer one. So we're going to need to know that for later. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a player sprite. So double click, scroll down to sprite. And you can find one online if you want, or you can just make one, which is what I'm going to do. Um, let me find a color I like. Let's see. Do this nice light blue here. Wow, look at this. So great. And I'm just going to make a little triangle, basically, that just covers the viewport here. And I have that triangle pointing to the right for some reason. The uh, construct likes things pointed to the right. So... There's my little player character. So I can exit that out. Right now it's huge, so I'm going to resize it over here on the left side to 50 by 50, and that just makes it a little more manageable size. And then the other thing I'm going to do is rename it to Player Sprite. Okay, we don't want to leave our sprites with just the name Sprite or Sprite 2 or Sprite 3. Then it's hard to identify them, for example, if we don't have a little picture of them there to help us. So we want to give them a descriptive name. So this one is Player Sprite. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make it easier to see. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me follow my instructions here to make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last thing we're going to do for this little video is we're just going to add the behaviors to this Player Sprite. And there's four behaviors we want to add. The first one is Solid, just to make our player character solid so it doesn't just pass through other objects. We're also going to add the... <coughs> Uh, bound to layout behavior so that it can't escape our layout so it'll always stay on the screen. The next one we're going to add is scroll to and what that does is it allows the camera to stay focused on your um, on your player character no matter where it goes and the last one we're going to add is eight direction and that's going to control our movement of our sprite there so you can control that with the arrow keys or you can simulate control with uh, other type of keys as well. Um, which I can show you how to do later on. Um, but that's it for the first video. Basically just setting up our background, setting up our player sprite character. In the next video, we're going to add a turret, a little turret character, and program its movement so that we'll, it will track our player character no matter where it goes. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.